so step two of the family history plan is about keeping a research log. Now this is something I am absolutely passionate about and the reason is is because I didn't used to do it. I used to think I'll oh, remember I used to have all sorts of crazy little notes in all sorts of crazy little places and then I just wasted so much time and effort over the years and since I've done a family history research log I just find it a joy. I find I make so much more progress on my research. I find when I come to write up my things it's half written up already in my research log. I just find it an absolute pleasure and I kind of feel um, more competent. I feel on top of things. I feel more proud of what I'm accomplishing. So the reason that I'm so passionate about this is because as I say I didn't used to do it. So if you don't have a research log yet then I would really encourage you to try it out and I think you will be surprised. And I like to think of it like this. So, so let's say you were setting off across the Atlantic or Pacific or one of the major oceans and you're the captains of a ship and you don't have a research log and you're sailing away and you get blown off course and things happen, dramas happen, um, unexpected events happen and you're trying to remember it all and your crew are saying where have we been? What's happening next? You have no idea when you hear the shipping forecast and you hear the storms coming and you don't know because you don't even know where you are. It's not quite so dramatic with genealogy but it's very easy to get lost amongst the documents for things to be a blur for you to think you're going to remember things but you just can't possibly remember all the minutiae all those many many details you find but with a research log then you will record what you are finding out and it means that you have the joy of being able to pick up research strands months even years later finding out you know what you'd accomplished at that point and then you can revisit old research which is one of the pleasures of getting more and more family history experience under your belt is that you can revisit old research and sometimes you can solve your own family history problems it just gets better and better so the benefits of a research log are just not to be underestimated so within step two of the 12 step family history plan we have included a link to research logs and that gives you kind of some of the nuts and bolts of how to go about it now a research log does not need to be complicated i would advise if you don't mind keeping something digital so whether that's a word document or an excel then personally i would recommend that you go for a digital option rather than going for a paper one and the reason is because if it's digital you can easily search through it you um you know you can literally just search on words surnames place names whatever it is um so i keep mine um i have a master research log thanks to a great tip from um, dr sophie k of having a master research log and i also have research logs for all the separate projects um that i work on within my own family history and also if you have a bit of a scatterbrain like me then i include hashtags so I will have things like hashtag rabbit hole hashtag to do hashtag next time and what this, what this means is when I come to pick up my research log if there has been a gap um, in since when since when I last researched um, that whatever the project is then I can just search on my hashtags and I know oh that was a tantalizing rabbit hole that I wanted to look down but had the self-restraint not to at the time or with a to do that's something I need to follow up or the next time then um, I can know what I need to do next time and that is one of the beauties that I use my research logs for every time I finish a research session I put hashtag next time at the bottom of my um, my, my writings up because then when I do pick it up it's a note to myself it goes Helen next time you need to do this you need to look here you need to pick up the research so then it means you can seamlessly and easily pick up and put down your research and I think that's probably something that many of us can benefit from because we all lead busy lives with many other commitments outside our joy and pleasure of doing our family history work okay enjoy them <music>